Yo, check it out. We got frat houses. Yeah. Looking classy as freak. Painted purple sidewalks and everything. I guess that is their thing. Friday's over, it's 216, 62 degrees. The temperature's dropped about 15 degrees since I went in this morning. And uh, it's turned into just a beautiful day. Going home through downtown. It's busy as usual. Everybody's, I don't know, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, quarter after two, why is everybody out and shopping and about on a Friday? It's kind of early for the, the rush home, I think, but Fridays are always busy. That is in really good condition. It's an E38 740 IL. I really don't like the color. If it weren't raining, I'd get out and show you, but it's got aftermarket wheels on it, and it looks, it's really well taken care of. That back bumper doesn't have a mark on it. That looks really good. Probably in better condition than that. There he is. There's Alex in the um, in the Eclipse. We are gonna head to dinner, I think, and then possibly a um, uh, aviation speaker at Kent State. We might go to that and see what he has to say. It could be interesting. It's in the Kiva, which is in the Student Center. So yeah, let's go eat. All right, guys. It's now 9:05. Uh, the temperature has plummeted to 55 degrees, which feels absolutely frigid. But in about seven months, or five, three months, it, it won't. Uh, anyways, we went to dinner. Dinner was okay. Not as good as usual, I thought, but it was okay. Then we went over to Kent, to the Kiva, for um, an aviation speaker. Ah, I want to tell you his name, but I can't check my phone right now, uh, so I will later tonight. Really good speech. It went from 7 to like 8.45, or I guess 8.30 if it's 9 now. Um, I think it was worthwhile. It was long, but it was inspirational. It was a good speech. Glad I went. There weren't that many people there. There were only four of us for like 40 minutes. Well, we said we got there way early. And we thought, well, this is going to be really awkward if he's going to tell this, this big close-to-heart story for four people. But then uh, maybe 20 or 30 other people came. Anyways, it was good. I'm going to head home now. I've got emails and YouTube crap to do before tomorrow. Going back to Kent. Actually, the airport, Andrew Patton Field, for um, the Heritage Festival. So hopefully that'll be a good day. Uh, but I'll talk to you later tonight, a few minutes. Seconds for you. Three, two, one. Okay, back. That speaker was Brian Udell, or Udell, U-D-E-L-L, -L, I think. He's a supersonic ejection survivor, meaning he was flying a F-15 for the military. According to the digital heads-up display, he was going, like, dead straight, level with the horizon. Maybe a, a right turn at about 20,000 feet, 30 degrees right heading uh, from dead center. And um, he noticed that things were getting really loud inside the plane, which would generally indicate um, a higher speed than what is being shown, about 400 knots. Um, so he looked at the, the uh, analog clocks instead of the digital uh, heads-up display and saw that he's pointed down at 90 degrees, going about 650 knots. Um, at that point, he couldn't pull up. He was down under 10,000 feet, so he had to eject, went into the ocean. This is like 65 miles east in the Atlantic from North Carolina. Anyways, really cool story. Google it, Brian Udell. So it is 11.59, just about to click over into Saturday. Um, I'm going to put this together, catch up on the videos, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Saturday. I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. A little cool. I'm going to have to dig some jeans out, but at least it'll be sunny. Good night.